Thank you, Zach. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the design that Zach is going to be working with to implement this uh, weather app. So this was a project that I think we talked about a few months ago and finally got some time to put something together. And uh, I'm really excited about how it turned out. So uh, let's jump into, I'm going to jump into the state machine and then kind of go over some of the, the elements and inputs that um, are being used. So if we go ahead and play this, um, looking at the inputs, there's this time input that kind of just tracks through the time of the day. Um, and there's a couple animations um, that have some keys set and it's just blending between those two as you progress through this little number counter. Um, there's also a cloudy toggle. So, um, you know, if it's cloudy wherever you're at, then um, you'll see some clouds. Then there's rain. And then down here, um, just a UI element, there's this little is open um, toggle that uh, opens and closes this overlay where a lot of the, the data can be drawn. Um, one thing to note is that <clears throat> excuse me, all of these are on separate layers so that they can be uh, combined. So um, so <clears throat> the rain loop here um, can be going the same time as the clouds. Um, so that allows you to kind of add. So you could have snow, you could have all sorts that you could add like wind effects and those could all be layered and you could sh turn them all on or you know turn some on and some off based on the weather at the specific location um so yeah that's kind of just an overview of of how this file is set up and i think the most important thing is just uh to note is these these inputs because for cloudy and robert will show you like you could do a number of things, but as long as it's cloudy, the cloudy state um, is being set by this Boolean, you can kind of do whatever. And your dev, in this case, Zach, will be able to just pull that and utilize that, uh, that toggle. So I'll go ahead and hand it over to Robert and he can show you uh, the design that he worked on. Yeah, so um, Michael actually made this really easy. Um... So all I really needed to do was I copied his artboard over here and essentially used his state machine um, to get started. I, I've made some changes, um, like our, our time doesn't necessarily work the same. He's using a blend state and I'm using different, um, uh, what, times of day animation. So I've got the nighttime and then that progresses into the morning afternoon and evening so it doesn't blend together um like his does but i figure when you open your app you're rarely ever going to see the like time of day um shift and we can also just like with his i've got the cloudy toggle so it can be cloudy at any point during the day it can also be rainy at any point during the day and our little squirrel friend hides out in the tree whenever it's raining um and then the same is open um toggle down at the bottom um, i think everything else is set up uh fairly similar um, the great thing was that i could make any changes to the state machine that i wanted and because we kept our inputs the same i could lay things out how i thought that they would work uh best for you know what i was trying to build um and again we just you know everything is on its own layer so i could add in the squirrel at any time um i could have added in you know deer or you know birds flying around in the background um all that kind of stuff so um yeah the the copying gave me a, a good starting point and um yeah i just iterated on it from there and then from there it was just like all right zach take it over and and do your thing <laughs> 